You are a long way away. Good evening. Can you see me down there? So as Mike has just said, um, a little over eight years ago now, uh, the report uh, from a review that I chaired on conservation in England, called Making Space for Nature, concluded that we needed a step change in conservation practice to stem the continuing decline and loss of wildlife. Summarised in that, what is still to me a rather unexpected mantra, but it's become a mantra of more, bigger, better and joined. We need more, bigger and better managed nature sites with better connections through the wider landscape. In other words, we need to stop thinking about protected areas as you know, isolated units in the landscape. We need to approach conservation at a landscape scale if we're really going to make a difference. Now, that was over eight years ago, uh, and much to my astonishment, uh, the recommendations that were in Making Space for Nature are still central to conservation thinking. I in the UK, both within the voluntary sector and government says they're still keen on it, uh, and increasingly across Europe. Uh, and if anything, uh, the, the, the issue is even more urgent in the face of continuing habitat fragmentation, continuing biodiversity loss, and of course, growing climate change. So the, the Endangered Landscapes Programme is an ambitious attempt to apply more, bigger, better, and joined at a landscape scale right across Europe. And I'm personally incredibly excited about the whole thing. With us this evening are the eight successful consortia that emerged from a highly competitive process over the last six months or so, uh, and I'm delighted to welcome representatives from all eight uh, of the programmes to be with us this evening. They're going to take the ELP vision forward over the next five years. Somewhat uh, alarmingly, I, it, when it's over, I'll be 80 if I get that far. But David Attenborough's still going, so that's okay. <laughs> they, the selection of those eight was based on recommendations of, of a really delightful, very experienced and very hard-working oversight and selection panel, as Mike said, that I chaired. Uh, and it's great to have some of them with us in Cambridge tonight. And this is an opportunity for me to publicly say thank you to the panel. They did a great job. Were all the panels that I've chaired in my life so amenable, helpful and sensible, my life would have been a lot easier. And since I probably won't get the opportunity to do it again in public, I also need to give my personal thanks to the staff of CCI who've been involved behind the scenes in running this whole process. With patience, efficiency, vision but great attention to detail. They're a rare combination of skills. Lots of people have vision and they're hopeless at detail. Lots of people have detail and no vision. The staff involved have been truly wonderful, uh, and particularly David Thomas, but to all of them, thank you. <laughs> 